over the last couple of months, I've been selling this unbelievable product on Amazon. Now it's very similar to the product that you're looking at right here. Obviously it's not this one, I'm not gonna show you the product I'm actually selling, but it's very similar to this one. But it doesn't have any IP issues, no hazmat or anything like that. Now it's very similar size, and the price and the cost and all that is very similar to what you're seeing here. So this one is $9.95. The unit cost, the how much it cost me to buy the product is $2.60. And the profit ends up being around 108% ROI. All very, very similar numbers to the one that I'm talking about. Now, in term, we don't have to worry about the chart or any of that type of data here. We've got the chart, but we don't even care about this in this, in this scenario. Very profitable product. Don't worry about the chart. So... In terms of sellers, it's usually just me and other two FBA sellers who aren't really in stock. They don't have much, a lot of stock. But here's the important part. It sells around 3,000 units a month. This one has 3,000. The one I'm looking at the moment, um, Tinga is between three and 4,000 sales per month. So it's a lot of sales per month. Now, here's the issue. I'm having trouble staying in stock. I try to order the product from my supplier. Every time I'm ordering, I'm getting around 720 units. I'm trying to do that weekly because it just sells so much. Now, when I buy 720 units, I can make that much in profit, okay? So that's what I'm trying to get. Now, I'm trying to get even more than that. So if I can double those numbers, and let's say get around 1,500 units, it's a lot better. But I realistically want to try to get at least two, two and a half thousand units per month. That way, the profit will be much, much better. So if I can, I can be able to find two and a half thousand units a month, that will be perfect. Now, how do I find two, two and a half thousand units a month when my supplier physically doesn't have any of those units. You know, they can't order enough. So what I did, I actually went to Astro's AI vendor search. So I just clicked on this button and I hit search. Now, obviously this is a different product, but how, how the AI vendor search works, it actually sends a bot to Google and it searches for suppliers of the ASIN that you're looking at. It goes through all of Google and it sends a bot and it uses AI to find suppliers. And when I did this, now obviously you're seeing a bunch of different suppliers here for these products. Um, you can see their price, um, you know, if there's any pack or stuff like that, you can look at the URL, if there's any special notes, you know, if there's a special price, for example, this one here is discounted from 4399 um, to 2397. You can see all these different types of details and if you wanna view the website, you just click on right there, view, and it takes you to the website and you can look at that. Now, when I did this for my winning product, because I was looking for stock, literally the first supplier that appeared for me was someone that was selling the product at $2.90. I opened up an account with them, instantly had a chat with them, called them on the phone, I negotiated another 15% discount. I'm still very profitable even at that price and I can buy another thousand units. So I'm just trying to say how simple it is to just stay in stock on a product like that. I literally created an account within 15 minutes of clicking that button. So I looked at them, I saw the price, I saw everything was good, go ahead and create an account, sent in my, my, you know, my LLC details, my AIN details, sent in my resale certificate, created an account, was on the phone with them and was buying the product. So I'm now I'm very happy because I'm gonna stay in stock on this awesome item. That's how simple it is. AI vendor search can do wonders. You just gotta keep using it. And you know, when you set the AI vendor search, you can set it for different locations. So you can set it for, you know, United States, all of the United States, the Northeast, Southeast, Midwest, Southwest, West, you can set it for all these different types of location locations. If you want, you can actually go to separate countries and look at different types of, types of countries if you're interested in getting maybe some type of products at a much you know bigger discount, but you're gonna have to export it or import it to the US. There's all that like logistical type of stuff that, that's involved. But there are some opportunities when you do that for like, let's say for, for example, you're selling a brand whose um, headquarters is in, you know, in Germany, for example, or in, in Australia, you can get some great discounts that way. But I prefer just to look at the US. I sell in the US and I'm for me, it's very important to have very fast lead times. I don't like waiting a month to get my products. I, I wanna get my products within a few days. That's the way I operate because I think it's better to operate that way because you get more cycles into each um, into each year. You wanna have, you wanna, you wanna try to sell off your products within a month. You wanna try to get at least 10, eight to, eight to 10 cycles per year where you just completely resell all your products. That's the way you wanna do You want to do things on Amazon so you can just compound your money, compound every single month, more and more and more. If you're spending one month, two months waiting for the products to arrive, you're not making money. That's my opinion. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got value out of this very, very short video. I just wanna kind of showcase how you can you know, stay in stock by using the AI vendor search to find new suppliers in just seconds. So hope you like that one. Hope you got value out of this one. Join the Telegram groups. A lot of people there learning. Some people, you know, showing their wins and, and, and achieving things. Uh, we're getting a lot of progress in that group. So I hope to see you guys there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.